Sankey diagrams are useful for showing the inputs and the outputs from a system. Now there's a tool online, a free tool online called Sankeymatic. And this is a beta website, so there might be some quirks that emerge, but for the most part, it looks pretty reliable. The way to build a Sankey diagram with Sankeymatic is to use the text box on the left hand side of Sankeymatic to specify your inputs and outputs. And what it'll do is it'll match the text in that text box um, to create the different links between the inputs and the outputs. So the example that they provide is on wages and interest as inputs going into a budget and then the outputs which represent how that budget has been spent. So we can start here by saying that wages leads into budget and contributes a value of 2000. Interest is an input to budget as an output with a value of 25 and budget as an input to taxes as an output of value 500 and so on. So what would happen if we took out all of those budget elements? Well, let me just do a control X to cut those and then preview and you can see here with just two inputs, that's how the diagram works. If we took out both of those inputs, we can still make this work by cutting out those top two. And we see here that budget comprises the total of all the outputs. So we don't need to specify the value of the inputs in this case because they're all formed by these outputs. Now with Sankeymatic, you can only do flows that go in one direction. So if you wanted, for example, a tax rebate, you won't be able to send that back to budget. Um, that's just one of the aspects to work around here. But for the most part, you can create some quite interesting diagrams. So we could end up with additional things. So for example, a pocket uh, money goes towards food. We put in 20 here that goes towards food. We can add uh, back of the sofa goes towards other necessities. And I'm just typing these in here. And what it'll do, it just matches those text elements. So you can see here, we've got some lines coming across pocket now contributes to food, so for contributes to other necessities. And we can move these around. So let's say I'm gonna put other necessities further up my chart and I'll drop that in there. And I might want to make a little bit more space for that one to work out properly. There we go. I could just manipulate that if I wanted to. And of course, I can just drop it in there as well. And that will make it move into a different place too. So it will take the order that you've, you've provided it here, but it will also give you the opportunity to manipulate it. But you've got other options down the bottom. I can change the width there. Just makes it a little bit more rectangular, less square. I can change the colors, the labels, further options there. But really, in order to use this most effectively, you probably want to export this diagram to some other presentation medium. That might be Prezi, that might be PowerPoint, or it might be part of a website. So you can do that by downloading as a PNG format and you just export the PNG with the button at the bottom and then in your downloads you'll see the file as an image and then you can drag and drop that into wherever you need it to be. Now bear in mind that this export is an image so this text here is not readable by screen readers. Um, so anyone who's visually impaired will need a text description of this image instead. So you shouldn't just be relying upon um, this image to convey the information you want to show.